guys welcome back so today I'm going to show you a few of my empties as you must have guessed from the title so I've collected these empties over the past two months probably and I'm super excited to share the review of all these you know short cutty reviews of all these products with you guys today and before we begin the video I just want to request you to please please hit the subscribe button it would mean the world to me I would love love to have you as a part of the family so yeah let's get right into the video so the first product that I'm going to show you is the herb day cleansing cream by the face shop in the radiant fruit mix so I'll just be very very honest with you guys I am not a fan of this product it did nothing for me I mean this was the first cream slash oil cleanser that I had ever bought and I was so thrilled I was like a Korean product at such an affordable rate and it was like 300 something for this bigger tub you know it was giant it's a ginormous tub and um, yeah I was pretty thrilled but I only used to wear kajal at that time and maybe baby lips lip balm that's it and but when I started uh, you know wearing more waterproof makeup like waterproof mascara this didn't do anything this did not clean even the basic sort of foundation concealer not high coverage just the basic sort of foundation or concealer it left a thin residue on my face it took a lot of scrubbing to get this cleanser off my face so I, I'm not a fan I did not like this yeah don't waste your money so the next product that I'm going to be talking about is the simple refreshing facial wash now this has become my holy grail cleanser like I have two holy grail cleansers one is this simple refreshing face wash I have a backup of this too and another is the um, face wash that is the hyaluronic acid face wash by Neemly that is also my favorite you can use Kortirtha to get 10% off on all Neemly products um, yeah so these are the two face washes that I like and this one it's so affordable and I mean it it cleanses well it's very gentle on the skin it does not have um, you know sulfates or SLS or alcohol or perfume or colors or animal derived ingredients so I am pretty happy with this one this is a pretty clean skincare product um, so I'm a huge fan of this and if you have oily or combination skin you can definitely go for this one so this is the next product this is the Garnier Micellar Water and oh my god I'm a fan this is so effective at removing makeup it has never broken me out it removes even waterproof makeup really well but you need to know how to use this so you need to take uh, you need to take the micellar water soak the cotton pad in it keep it on your eyes for some time maybe a few seconds then wipe it away gently it will take off all the eye makeup really really well so that's how you use this and if you use it correctly this is this is an excellent product so this is the next product this is the Shesha Ayurveda Pure Rose Water so I got this as PR and um, before I got this as PR I was considering buying the Kama Ayurveda Rose Water because I had heard good things about it but I got this and when I started using it I fell in love I mean it's a beautiful product so it's, it's a beautiful hydrosol and the thing that I love about this rose water the most is that it is pure steam distilled rose water and it smells like fresh roses it does not smell artificial whatsoever and it's you know the uh, usual rose waters that you get in the market the Dabur Gulabri you know uh, rose waters like that they basically rose essence mixed with water with a lot of fragrance this is not that there is no added fragrance no added colors no added anything this is pure 100% steam distilled rose water and it is made using roses that are sourced from Kanoj so yeah this is a A1 product I highly recommend it go for it you guys without a second thought so this is the next product this is the Cosrx AHA BHA clarifying treatment toner and this is a staple in my skincare stash I absolutely love it so I use this when I exfoliate my skin when I chemically exfoliate my skin so I chemically exfoliate my skin two times a week that's when I use this this is an exfoliating toner and it has really prevented the occurrence of blackheads it has definitely reduced um, the appearance of the size of my pores and it, it has controlled the sebum levels a little bit it is it is it is an excellent toner uh, it's gentle enough that you can use it every day 
but it's not a must have the thing is if you have a low ph cleanser you can just use your exfoliating product after the low ph cleanser you do not need this but i just like making sure that the ph of my skin is low enough that the um aha and bha that i'm going to use is going to be effective so yeah i really like it but it's not a must have if you have a low ph cleanser so this is the next product this is the it skin vc effector I was on a hunt for a good vitamin C serum for beginners and I came across Claire's vitamin C but I felt that it was a bit on the expensive side at least at that time there were no discounts so I got this because I had heard good reviews about it on Reddit and uh the thing about this serum is it's extremely hydrating I really like it 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 just sinks into the skin beautifully and your skin looks instantly plump and you know just rejuvenated and it does leave a glow as well with consistent use but the thing with this is we do not know how much vitamin c is in there it has a vitamin c derivative and we do not know how much of it is in there it hasn't brought significant changes in my pigmentation uh, so would i call it a very effective vitamin c serum no but is it hydrating and does it give a glow yes is it worth investing in um if you are a beginner and if you have zero experience with actives with vitamin c and you just want to go slow start it with a you know like a like a product with vitamin c in small concentrations this is the one you can go for yeah and it does have fragrance so if you're sensitive to fragrance skip this so this is the next product this is the zilch insta bound serum uh now zilch is a relatively new indian brand but it has a really good philosophy so zilch means zero and what they stand for is zero nasty ingredients zero unnecessary ingredients so yeah i was pretty excited and i got this as pr and it is a really hydrating moisturizer come serum you guys if you have really oily skin you can use this as a moisturizer also but if you have dry skin you can use this as a serum and then follow up with a moisturizer Now this retails for one thousand two hundred rupees for thirty ml. So I would say it's a bit on the expensive side, but uh, but it's definitely one of the best serums out there in the market. So you can definitely invest on it, and it sits really well under makeup. It makes your makeup look so flawless. I absolutely love it. I used this before my primer. Yeah, so I highly recommend it. It's a thumbs up. So this is the next product. This is the Innisfree Green Tea Balancing Lotion. Now the thing about this moisturizer is when I when I was first introduced to it, it has it had an incredible ingredients list. I was blown away because, you know, things like green tea extract came at the top of the ingredients list. I was like, "Hooray, I found my moisturizer." It was it is really lightweight. It sinks into the skin beautifully. So I was pretty happy with it. I bought backups for this. but that's when the ingredients list changed i i'm pretty sure it changed because the green tea extract is at the bottom of the ingredients list now and i personally don't like the packaging because look it's like this it it, it isn't a pump dispenser or anything like that uh so you can't control the amount of product that you take in your hands and um also it makes my skin look oily after a few hours So yeah, I'm not a fan of this product. I no longer use it. I no longer prefer it. Uh there are so many better options out there for the same price. This retails for 1200 rupees and yeah, you can probably get it on discount on Nykaa, but I don't recommend it. Like there are so many other alternatives. If you want some alternatives, uh you can definitely go for the Neemly Hyaluronic and Oats moisturizer. I think that's what it's called and you can use my code Teertha to get 10% off. And another moisturizer that I like is the one by Simple. Um this is all for oily skin girls because I'm an I have oily skin and oily acne prone skin. So that's why I'm suggesting the moisturizers that is ideal for that skin type. So these are the next two products. These this is the L'Oreal Even Complexion sunscreen and this is the L'Oreal uh UV watery gel sunscreen. So this one is a tinted sunscreen and this one is uh an essence like sunscreen. So I really like the tinted one. This is the Even Complexion one. It gives 
if you have wheatish skin tone you can definitely go for this you don't need you know a bb cream or a cc cream to go with it it just gives a light bit of coverage and it has a really good um, pa rating it's pa plus 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 and it has spf of 50 so yeah I, I absolutely recommend this it's a bit on the pricey side for the amount that you get but it's a really really good sunscreen i've used it for a long time i've now switched to requil uh, the requil matte gel sunscreen but this this is still a favorite i like it so this is the next product. This is the hydrating UV watery gel. So one thing that I want to tell you about these sunscreens is that it's meant for oily skin. This one is um, not moisturizing enough for dry skinned people. So you might want to layer a moisturizer underneath it. This one is very hydrating, but um, it does make your skin look a bit oily after a few hours. So I prefer the even complexion over the watery essence but you know this this these are good picks if you want a decent sunscreen you can definitely go for any of these so this is the next product this is the l'oreal pure clay detoxify mask i quite like this clay mask it does what it claims it removes excess oil it prevents blackheads whiteheads and even active with regular use so i used to use this once a week i liked it um, but the thing with this is it has a lot of fragrance. So if you have very sensitive skin, I would not recommend you to buy it. I don't mind fragrance in my wash off products. So this suited me and it did a decent job. It didn't dry out my skin. So I like it and I used it. But if you have super sensitive skin, you might want to skip this. Now let's move on to bath and body care products. This is the first product. This is the Herb Island French Green Clay Refreshing Body Wash. And oh my God, I love its fragrance. Now, I like having fragrance in my bath and body care products. It just relaxes me. I actually end up enjoying the bathing experience. So yeah, this one, this one was the first clay based body wash that I had tried and I loved it. It is sulfate and paraben free. It is very gentle. It is very non stripping and it cleanses the skin well without, you know, drying it out or taking away the natural oils. So I like this one a lot. I would definitely, definitely recommend it. So this is the next product. This is the Body Shop Shower Gel in the Variant Strawberry. And I'll be very honest with you. I didn't like it much. It was quite an, it was sort of an average product. And the thing with this is that it does have SLS, which I'm not fond of. I didn't know that it had SLS before I bought it. And I didn't find it to be very gentle. I mean, if I ended up taking too much of the product, my skin would feel dry. But otherwise it's okay, I guess. And I wasn't a big fan of the fragrance. I expected juicy, fresh strawberry sort of a fragrance, but what I got instead is strawberry candy fragrance and it didn't last long. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Um, I, a lot of people do like it, so you, could, you can test it out for yourself. I didn't like it and I wouldn't recommend it. So now let's move on to hair care. I'm going to be talking about two hair masks. One is a pre-shampoo hair mask and one is a post-shampoo hair mask. So the first product that I'm going to be talking about is the Herb Island Rice Water and Hibiscus Hair Mask. Now this is a pre-shampoo hair mask. So you're supposed to apply it on clean, dry scalp, leave it on for 30 minutes and then wash off with a mild shampoo. I prefer washing it off with the um, shampoo of the same variant that is the Rice Water and Hibiscus Shampoo by Herb Island. And I love this hair mask. It conditions my hair, it tames frizz. And uh, another thing is with consistent use, you will definitely see a reduction in hair fall. And it's got an amazing ingredients list. Like at the very top of the ingredients list, you will find onion juice, permanent rice, rice water, hibiscus flower infusion. So this is a superstar product and I highly recommend it. It's so good, you guys. So the next product that I want to talk about is the Keratin and Calendula Hair Mask by Nature's Destiny. I got this as PR and it came with the shampoo bar, the Keratin uh, shampoo bar. And oh my god you guys, this hair mask is so good. It tames frizz, it makes your hair silky, soft, smooth. I, I just love it. It conditions your hair so well. And another thing that I wanted to say about this mask is once you use this and you know your you hair dries you feel like you just stepped out of a hair spa or a hair salon so that's how good this is i would highly recommend this um if you have frizzy hair if you have unmanageable hair definitely try this 
it is uh, I think it is also curly girl method friendly but I'm not sure just um, check on the website it's really good it's very affordable go for it it's a thumbs up now let's move on to makeup products the very first product is the Maybelline fit me foundation it has a very comfortable finish it has a very natural looking finish it is not too matte not too dry it used to come in this sort of a packaging and I didn't like that now it has a pump packaging so this one is a thumbs up for me I mean it doesn't make your skin too oily it is suitable for all skin types and uh, it lasts quite quite a while uh, on your face it doesn't fade away too easily I really like this if you're a beginner and if you're just starting out with makeup definitely invest in this foundation because this is a universally loved foundation and with good reason too the next product that I'm going to be talking about is the new nuance lipstick now this is a creamy matte lipstick by Maybelline and I absolutely love the shade I use this as a blush I use this on in my no makeup makeup looks I um, I just love this lipstick so much, I'll just show you. This is how much is left. So I absolutely love it. I use it on top of really bright lipsticks just to subdue the color a little. And it makes all lipsticks look good. Once you top off bright lipsticks with this, it makes the uh, you know color look really subdued and very elegant. So yeah, that's all for the empties video guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. I would love to have you guys join this channel, be part of the family. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.